Dayon Henley is a freak. He finished the preseason as one of the Chargers' highest graded defenders and had an elite coverage. So let's go over all of the good and the bad that he had in the preseason. I'm sure I'm going to bolt up a couple times because I freaking love Dayon Henley. But make sure to like the video and subscribe if you do enjoy this content. Here's the first play I want to show you. Now this one is from the Rams game. Dayon Henley, the linebacker right here on this weak side, you can see he's immediately going to read and react as soon as he sees this running back go towards this way he's already sprinting towards where the running back is going to go and he beats this tackle to the spot curves right outside of him and gets into that gap forces the i think it was jared clark on the other side of, of the line of scrimmage right here this is jared clark and this is brevin allen you can see how fast down henley is to read and react and just trust his instinct to go downhill so fast clogs up this hole because now this tackle is in the hole that would have been created if Deion Henley was not so instinctually fast. He would have been blocked like right here. Instead, Deion Henley clogging up that freaking hole and forcing a team tackle right there, right at about the line of scrimmage. He is so fast and he trusts his instincts. Oh my gosh. Now this time, Deion Henley right here is going to be coming on the blitz. See how fast he gets off and boom, smacks that lineman like two or three yards into the backfield. And this running back already cut it back. Good job, by, good job by Andrew Farmer on the edge to get that tackle. But look at how fast he is and how athletic he is. Boom, to smack that offensive lineman like three yards into the backfield, man. If this running back was coming up the A gap, he would have gone way behind the line of scrimmage scott matlock probably would have gone that tfl check it out from this angle again bro it's just the strength and athleticism that dayon henley has is crazy now let's look at dayon henley in coverage probably his best asset dayon henley right here the linebacker you can see he's just sitting in this zone right here keeping his eyes on the quarterback stetson bennett gets his hand up and barely tips that pass that would have been a big game for the rams if he was not able to tip that pass and check this out you can see not even reacting to anything going on around him he's just going to backpedal a little bit right here keep his eyes on the eyes of the quarterback to see where he's going where his his uh, first and second read are you can see he's deciding to throw it to the uh let me just go back to this angle to this man right here over the middle of the field and you can see dan henley is all over this one he's backtracking hand up and barely tips that ball so that it gets off target and it's an incomplete pass saving about 20 yards on that play Dayon Henley doing a really good job in zone coverage oh the athleticism by Dayon Henley check it out motioning wide receiver and then this running back is going to go over to this side right here Dayon Henley going way wide so that he doesn't have an option to go on this outside you can see as soon as the running back cuts this thing back right here Dan Henley reacts to it plants his foot you can see how low he gets and avoids the block by the offensive lineman and is right here for the cleanup tackle if jared clark the man right here misses this tackle and you can see i'm just going to play it back for jared clark really good job of taking on the double team and as soon as that guard goes away to block the linebacker blake lynch jared clark works down the line of scrimmage and picks up that tackle you can see the guard picked up blake lynch so if he's not there to make that tackle this is a couple yards until Dayon Henley can get him. Ooh, bro, the athleticism and the strength of Dayon Henley. Check him out, blitzing this A-gap, knocking this offensive lineman a couple yards into the backfield, disrupting the running back's lane. Now he's got to go into this gap, and Michael Jaquette is going to be all over that. Good, good job by Ty Shelby as well, controlling this edge. So the only spot for this running back to go is right here. But check out Dayon Henley too. He pushes the man in the backfield, and now he works his way back towards the running back and gets that cleanup tackle. This is a gang tackle for the Chargers. Only about two yards let up on that play. Good defense all around. And now this is just a little thing that I wanna show you guys. Dayon Henley is gonna be man on man with this running back. You can see, not letting up like any yardage to this running back right here. And one thing that the Chargers have struggled with is the running back outlet pass, like a screen pass out in the flat, the dump off route. We have struggled with defending that for so long. Look at how Dayon Henley is just glued to him. He's not falling for any of these moves right here. And he just sticks with him the entire way. 
Deion Henley hopefully is going to solve that problem for the Chargers. Deion Henley is so good at reading and reacting to what is in front of him, man. Motioning receiver, and we got a lot going on in this backfield. Tight end coming around the side. Motioning receiver still going down the field. And handoff to the running back. And every one of these offensive linemen is working down the field towards this left side. Deion Henley keeps his eyes in the backfield to see where this running back is going to go. As soon as he gets that ball, plants that foot and starts going back towards the inside. So does Deion Henley swiping away the arms of the offensive lineman and gets the tackle on the running back right there that is a big time tackle because if Deion Henley got washed to this side of the field it looks like this running back would have gone all the way at least to the five before he's even touched by the safety right here Michael Jaquette check it out from this angle and you can really see how he just reads and waits stays disciplined and then as soon as he sees the running back cutting back plant that foot go in that same direction and get the tackle man he just swipes away the arms of this offensive lineman doesn't even get a hand on him really now this is the last play from the rams game that i'm going to show you and it's actually a touchdown but dayon henley the linebacker right here you can see how well he works down the line of scrimmage and also how slippery he is because this rams offensive lineman gets a hold of him but he just runs right past him. And now this offensive lineman gets a hand on him too. And he's splitting both, both of these blockers. And he's going to get to the running back and makes contact right here. But this running back does a really nice job of working his way into the end zone. You can see, man, Dayon Henley is just so slippery. He's so fast. Sideline to sideline. He's got that athleticism. And he is at least putting himself in position to make a tackle before this running back gets into the end zone. You can't really fault him on this play. He did everything he needed to do. Also, Raheem Lane, I want to give a shout out to him because look at this. Whoop! Just swipe that guy away with that strength and now tries to make the tackle with Dayon Henley right there too. But, you know, it's just you got to give it to the Rams running back on this play because both Raheem Lane and Dayon Henley did the best that they could. Now let's move on to the Saints game. And you can see Dayon Henley, we're going to be in zone coverage all around the board right here. But Dayon Henley's primary focus is this running back. So he's drifting out to this side so that he can get that tackle if the ball is thrown there. But Jasir Taylor now working up the field as this uh, wide receiver gets out of his zone. Raheem Lane coming down the field because this receiver is going towards the middle of the field. Now we got two guys over here. So Dayon Henley starts going back towards the running back. And so does Jameis Winston. He's rolling out this way. So he's got to stay disciplined. Am I going for the quarterback or the running back? Now Jameis throws this ball. Dayon commits to the running back. And you can see he took a little bit of a poor angle going a little too far towards this outside and he misses this tackle on the running back but the good thing is he forced him back towards the inside so that it's not a huge gain on this play but it is a good job by Jameis Winston on a broken play to get the most that he can you can see Deion Henley kind of gets lost a bit in zone coverage right here because there are these crossing receivers and he doesn't want to entirely commit to the running back doesn't also want to entirely commit to the quarterback so it's just a tough situation to put the linebacker in but he does almost the most that he can right here. The most would be to make a tackle right here. Now, this is just a good play for the Saints. Day on Henley right here. One-on-one -on -one with the running back. And this is a big wheel route for many, many yards into the red zone. And you can see why this works. This receiver on the outside is just going to run right up the field vertical. And now he's going to go crosser over the middle. So it sucks in this safety. And that's going to leave our, our freaking running back with Dayon Henley one-on-one. -on -one. And then with a wheel route lined up against a running back, it is so tough to defend that. You can see he's able to at least get the tackle because he's such an athletic linebacker that he's able to just keep up with him. But check it out from the get-go. You can see he's going full speed. And Dayon Henley is, I mean, he's got his back turned to this area of the field. You got to run full speed with this guy. That's why this route is so tough to defend. I don't really fault Dayon Henley as much as uh, some of you guys probably do. This is just really good play design. And you're caught in a tough situation right here as a linebacker. You want to have more help from your safety. But Raheem Lane had to cover this middle of the field because look at this wide receiver he would have been wide open if Raheem Lane is committing to the running back it's just good play design Chargers got caught in this play Dan Henley was the victim Ooh, bro okay this one made me bolt up Dan Henley right here check how fast he is reading and reacting boom gets that tackle on the running back right there 
Really great play and run defense, and I love seeing that from the linebackers. Check it out from this angle, and you can see Jared Clark is going to blow up the center on this play, force him to turn his entire self around. You don't want to do that as an offensive lineman, but that's going to clear up even more space for Dan Henley to come right through this gap and get that tackle on the running back, swing him down. Really nice play by Jared Clark, who's feeling himself right here, and also Dayon Henley. Who also is feeling himself look at this man we go again they're gonna try to get dayon henley in a tough situation he's the weak side linebacker we're gonna have this play action pass fake the run to this side and we're gonna pull our tight end from the top of the line of scrimmage here down this way and dayon henley hopefully we're gonna get him sucked into this play action the fake run on this side and pull this man over here that's his assignment and we're gonna have him playing catch up on this entire route it doesn't work he's not playing catch up He's going to be laying the mustard on this guy, not allowing much yardage on this play. Really fast sideline to sideline player. They're trying to target him and it did not work. Again, man, he's just so good in coverage. The fake blitz and now man on man with the running back, not allowing any space on this play. Really, really good. Bro, he is so vicious coming in on this blitz. Check him out right here. He's just going to sprint all the way downfield. Misses the tackle the first time around on Jameis Winston, but he ends up getting like a half sack on this play, sharing it with Carlo Kemp right here. Coming down the field so fast and just barely goes over the head of Jameis Winston, but goes for that leg while Carlo Kemp goes for the rest of Jameis. And Dayon is so hyped about this, man. I love this. Now we go to that 49ers game. Dayon Henley in coverage one-on-one -on -one against this tight end right here. You can see he's sticky this entire way, not really getting aggressive with those hands. So this isn't a legal contact. As soon as he makes that cuts towards the inside, he plants that foot, turns that head and looks for the ball. It's not coming his way. Really sticky coverage. He would have gotten a pass deflection if it was going towards him. And also now check out this high motor trying to get into the freaking play and get a tackle on the ball carrier. Okay. We got another missed tackle here for Dayon Henley. He's going to be working down the line of scrimmage so fast, and he gets in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the running back, but he cuts up the field, forces him to the inside, so that's good, but he gets that hand out as he slips on the turf, and Jared Clark is going to have to come up and get that cleanup tackle. So is Carlo Kemp, the outside linebacker. Man, if he made this one-on-one -on -one tackle, that would have been so... That would have been one to add to the freaking highlight reel, but just slips up as the running back cuts man oof here we go again against the niners dayon henley in a one-on-one -on -one against the tight end in man coverage it's just gonna be a little hook route quarterback doesn't like what he sees because dayon henley is all over him so there's nowhere to throw this freaking ball so the quarterback starts rolling to this left side he starts scrambling away and the tight end he starts working with his quarterback so he's going to this side of the field but dayon henley is going to drift over there with him because that is his man and this ball gets thrown right into Dayon Henley's arms. You can see him at the bottom of the screen. He's working down the field with the tight end and this ball thrown perfectly to get intercepted, but he can't maintain the possession of that catch and it just drops out of his hands. And this play reminds me of a play in practice about two or three days before this game. Darius Davis in the flat route right here and Dayon Henley is man coverage with him. He can't get out there fast enough. He learned from this in practice, and he was able to keep up with his man on this out route into the end zone to almost get that pick. But later on in the game, Dayon Henley right here in zone coverage, he's finally going to get that interception that he deserves. Ball is batted in the air by Cam Brown, and Dayon Henley is there to intercept it and go for the return. Pretty nice return by him, but check out this play. You can see tipped up in the air, reaches out with one hand, grabs it, and he's still going to be bobbling it right here. As you can see, the defender, I think that's Mikel Jones, tries to help him out and get that interception. And then he starts running down the field, able to avoid all of these guys, and finally taken down by number 83 on the Niners. And now it is time to celebrate. Bro, I just love how Dayon Henley plays, man. He's so fast and physical. If you want to see my breakdown of Elijah Dotson, you can click right here. Or if you want to see the second round pick, Tuli Tui Pelotu, you can click here. So you got two choices of film breakdowns for you. Who's it going to be?